Hey Geminis, God is Puff and this is your next 48 hours for November 21st to the 22nd of 2021. All right, let's get into it with an Oracle card message for Geminis. Next 48 hours for my beautiful, beautiful Geminis. November 21st to the 22nd of 2021 for Gemini. All right, let's see what y'all got going on, what you need to know. These are so fun to do, guys. I just want to let y'all know I love doing these for y'all. <laughs> 29, feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. We have 10, red, forgive. And notice how in both of these, she's surrounded by vegetation. So something red, whether it's a fruit or vegetable, you should consume, ground yourself, take a spiritual bath, feed yourself good foods, just take care of yourself, slow down, celebrate yourself and forgive yourself and forgive others of your past who doubted you. I just feel like the only keep, the only, you're not keeping yourself back. Let me keep going. Let me just keep going. <laughs> we have master number 33, nostalgia, focus on the here and now. Yeah, there's something from your past. I wanted to say that. Something from the past is trying to hold you back. And I feel like it's a thought, not a person. Because I feel like you you shame and blame yourself for a, a person, place, thing, or situation. I don't care if you did something wrong or that person did something wrong to you. If you're remorseful, obviously, you feel ashamed of it, obviously, you shouldn't blame yourself for things that other people have done to you. And you should let the situation go, period, so that you can free yourself. Right now, you deserve to be celebrating yourself. Overall energy is portal. Number 11, sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. You deserve to be happy right now. You're supposed to be happy right now. You can't paint the sun back into your sky if you stuck on nostalgia in the past. That's why you go from 10, red, forgive, to sun, paint the sun back into your sky, 11. You need to release, forgive, and let go of yourself, your past self, and the people you and situations you dealt with so that you can bring life and fun and clarity and love back into your life. And you cannot do that if you're focused on the past. Because again, right now you're supposed to be celebrating yourself. Indulging yourself. Loving on yourself. Giving to yourself. But it's like you self-sabotage or withhold gratification from yourself. Because you're still punishing yourself for things from the past. And you're not supposed to be doing that right now, Gemini. Alright, so for Gemini. Next three hours for Gemini. November 21st to the 22nd. Of 2021 for Gemini. All right. Whoa. We have the sun card. And that's ironic because the overall was the sun. So you could be dealing with a Leo or have a highly aspected, but this is just clarity. And I just, I feel like you know, on a certain level, you know, you're supposed to be celebrating yourself. It's clear you're happy or you're getting back to that state you're just seeing things clearly everything's warm and you're just you just know right and i think you're you're realizing that you're supposed to be celebrating yourself but you're realizing why you've been like only giving to yourself halfway because you've been punishing yourself for things of the past but we have the seven of cups confusion i feel like this is the past as well with the seven of cups it's just oh but if there's anything confusing or hidden or it's about to be brought to light, things are about to be um, put in order and made very clear for you. Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Three of Wands. Overall energy is the Devil Capricorn. So there could have been a Capricorn Earth sign or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or Leo, Virgo, Cusp. But there was some confusion surrounding a Leo or an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But it's like, <sighs> the confusion is about to be cleared up. You're about to receive the truth about this person and clarity. And I feel like regardless if someone comes to you and literally tells you that, because of your experience and, and what you've gone through, you have an epiphany that makes you see things clearly, like why things happened or why things went that way. And that allows you to release and let this go. Cause I feel like with the overall energy being the devil, extreme fear and shame and blame and attachment to the past is what's stopping you. Cause the devil card is like a ball and chain. And look at this, they're chained together here. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. Even in the original Rider weight deck, they're chained together. So it's like you're stuck to the past because of like blame and shame and it's being made clear to you that you should release and let this go 
All right, clarify this for Gemini. This is a pretty cut and dry reading, but I'm going to finish it anyway. <laughs> clarify this for Gemini. And then while I'm shuffling, I see the devil again here. So this is clear. It's just like blame and shame. You're, it's like you're beating yourself up pretty much. All right, last shuffle. Clarify this message for Gemini. I feel like I've been getting that a lot for you lately. I'd be like um, sage and cards and all that. I've just been been getting guilt. Like every other reading for Gemini, I've been getting guilt. So it's like half the Geminis are feeling a certain way. The other half are like, you know, clarifying the sun card is the queen of cups. Could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the justice card, Libra. So yeah, like I, <laughs> the justice card is clarifying the sun. Things are being made clear to you. If there was anything confusion, confusing seven of cups things are being righted with the sun card things are being made clear to you about this person and it's allowing you to have more empathy for this person and if you can forgive others you need to be able to forgive yourself because we are the hardest on ourselves we can forgive others and be understanding of others but why are we like holding it against ourselves for a lifetime you know clarifying the seven of cups is the two of cups also this could have been a love situation for some of you, I feel like you were, I feel like it's more to it than that, though. Um, Knight of Swords, maybe you tried to force this commitment, but this person was really ambiguous about it, like they didn't want to commit or something like that. Or maybe it's vice versa. It could have been a parent as well that just didn't want to like uplift you or they were, I feel like someone here was indifferent to this relationship while another party was trying to force the relationship. All right, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. There's an Earth sign losing sleep over you. Yeah, Five of Swords because of what they said to you. Also could be vice versa. Clarifying the Three of Wands is the High Priestess Pisces. I feel like you are the High Priestess here, regardless of your um sign. The World card, yeah. So it's like you've gone through this. This is all a past situation. Right now, you're sitting still looking over the past nostalgia and trying to forgive others and yourself because you've reached a point in your life where you've accomplished a major goal. The sun is shining. Things are looking bright. You're happy. But the only thing stopping you or making you feel down or whatever is being shackled to the shame and blame of your past. If someone is losing sleep and having anxiety and sleepless nights over things that they've said to a person. And whether it's been said to you or you've said it to others, it's time to forgive. Overall energy is the page of pentacles. Yes, it's time to move on. A new cycle is here. The world card, a cycle is done. Major completion of a cycle, it's closed. It's not going to repeat. It's not coming back. It's done. And you're the high priestess with the veil of pomegranates. It's like her experience and knowledge. You know this. It's like you know this on a conscious level, but it's like subconsciously you just keep punishing yourself. And you have fear of, of like of giving yourself what you deserve you it's like on some level you feel like you don't deserve it you should punish yourself for whatever reason but maybe you feel like someone deserves justice but you get that with the justice card clarifying the sun you get it because i feel like in the past you were confused about this but things are made clear now and justice is being served so all you need to do is forgive and trust and believe if there's someone who said or did anything to you in the past, I feel like there was some nasty words said to you. They are thinking about that. Okay, every night is keeping them up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Gemini, namaste.